Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in powerlifting there are only 3 people capable of benching 700 pounds. Thomas Davies, Johnny Harris and Julius Maddox. The interesting thing about this list is that two of them weigh around the mid 400 pounds. The other one is a bodybuilder that weighs around 300 pounds and just started powerlifting competitively. This huge difference in body weight brings up the question whether it makes Johnny Harris a better bencher than Julius Maddox. But first, who is Johnny Harris? Johnny calls himself a power builder, but he started out just bodybuilding competitively. In 2014 he competed in the Jake Cutler Classic in Baltimore as a light heavyweight, which is pretty crazy to think about considering how massive the guy is now. He did fairly well placing 4th in his class, so he was looking for another challenge. In 2015 he did a bigger show, where he competed in the IFBB North American Championships. His conditioning looked a little little off compared to the year prior and he was also facing some tough competition. All this led to Johnny only placing 16th at that show. After this it was quiet around Johnny Harris for some time, until he re-emerged in 2018. Compared to his bodybuilding days he had completely blown up in size and he turned into the monster we know him as today. He also started posting his lifts to social media and he made people question if the weights that he was using were even real. In one of the first clips he posted, he was wrapping out 5 plates for 10 reps. Johnny the Powerlifter In almost every post that Johnny did, people were asking him why he didn't compete in powerlifting. Well, eventually, in 2019 he did. In his first meet ever, he benched 655 pounds at a body weight of around 287 pounds. To put in perspective just how crazy this is, he outbenched Larry Wheels at his first meet ever at the same body weight. But Johnny wasn't satisfied, he wanted 700 pounds in competition, so a few months later he tried again. In June he competed alongside Julius Maddox at a Beasts of Bench competition. He chose 672 pounds as a second attempt. It did get red lighted for his butt moving off the bench, but it moved great, so he felt confident that he could surpass his goal. For his last attempt he took 705 pounds, and while initially the commentators thought it was a good lift, the same problem of his butt lifting off the bench arised again, so the lift wasn't official yet. Comparing Johnny and Julius Because Johnny weighed 303 pounds in his last meet and Julius weighed 460 pounds in his last meet, it wouldn't be fair to compare them directly. Because of this we are using a metric called DOTS. Dots are specifically created to compare the relative strength of lifters and are widely considered as the most fair method to do so. When we compare Julia's best bench of 770 pounds to Johnny's best competition bench of 655 pounds, then the results are clear. Julia's wins with 174 dots. But this is far from Johnny's best bench. He recently benched 710 pounds in training. And if we enter this, taking into account his current body weight, then we get a different picture. Of course training lifts don't count, but they do give us a good indication of what an athlete is capable of. And if Johnny would pull this off in competition, he is definitely in the discussion of greatest bencher of all time. That was it for the video guys, please follow Wabi on Instagram and subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's a strong guy, but recently he wanted to try something different, so he benched 225 pounds underwater. If you want to be featured in these videos, DM us on Instagram, and also don't forget to like and subscribe.